Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are going back to transformations, specifically to IXL L1. And these are a series of problems that ask you to identify certain transformations. So the questions look like this. They'll give you an initial image here of a shape and they'll then ask you to identify which of the following uh, uh, or which transformation they did in order to get uh, to one of these. So right here they ask for a translation. So which one of these shapes correlates as a translation from this shape? Well, a translation is just sliding, right? So is there any way we can slide this so it ends up like this? No. Uh, this is more of a reflection. So keep in mind when you're doing these problems, each of these choices is really going to correlate to one of the three main transformations. So reflection, translation, and uh, rotation. Okay, one of those transformations. So here it looks like it is the reflection one. This one looks like it is the rotation one, right? And this one looks like it was slid. You can slide it to the left and then up. So that's going to be our translation. So C is going to be our translation. Okay. Uh, this one. So how, let's see, it wants us to do a rotation. Okay. So let's see this one. So B and the original shape look like they are uh, a translation. You just slide it over here. A looks like it can be a reflection. If you put a line of reflection here and reflect it over, that looks like a reflection. And C looks like it's a rotation. If you make this your point of rotation and rotate it this way. So C is going to be our answer there okay okay so now it wants a translation so which of the three shapes looks like it just slides a little bit so it looks like this is the same orientation it doesn't flip or rotate or anything we just slid it to the left and up again so B is going to be our translation which image shows a translation so another slide again for translations you want to look for the same orientation here it's just sliding whereas these look like they're either rotating or reflecting, so C is going to be the answer. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Um, won't do too many more of these, but all I would say is they're going to give you a shape, and then you got to choose between a uh, translation, a reflection, and a rotation. You know, one of these three is going to correlate to one of those three. This one looks like it is a reflection. This one looks like a rotation, and then this one, uh, this one looks like a reflection. So this one is probably going to be the answer then. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to skip and see if there's anything else that's different. Okay. What is the combination of transformations that is shown below? Well, to get from one to two, it looks like you need to reflect it right along this line right here. So you're going to reflect it. So reflection is going to be the first one. So it's either option one or option four. And then it looks like you're going to have to rotate it right here, point of rotation. So it overlaps on that shape perfectly. So it looks like it's going to go reflection then rotation. So the first response there. Okay. Okay, so how can we get one to overlap on two perfectly? Looks like a rotation. And then two to three looks like a reflection. So rotation to reflection is the fourth option. And then we'll just do this one. One to two looks like a rotation along that point, along that hinge point. And then it looks like a translation up and to the left or left up. So rotation, then translation, which is the first option. Okay, so I'll end it there, I believe. Let me double check. Yep, I will end it there. Those are the only kinds of problems you will see on IXL L1. All right, look forward to more IXL tutorial videos later. And study hard. Goodbye.